Hi, my name is Nantha, and I'm going to talk about The Bunker Diary. It is a book about Linus, who has been kidnapped from the street by a man he, li he believed to be blind. Obviously, he was tricked by the man's helpless act, because he woke up finding himself in a foreign room. There was only a bed, a bedside cabinet, a blank notebook, a pen, and a Bible. When he was talking around, uh, right, when he was taking a look around, he find five other identical rooms. A basic kitchen, a bathroom, and a short corridor, which leads to the elevator. The elevator goes up with doors shut, which, like, it actually never opens unless it's going down. And then the light goes, like, goes on in the morning and goes off at night, at midnight. As for the main characters, there's Linus, a teenager who have a rich father, but moves out and lived on the street, street on his own. Jenny, a bright but very young girl, Fred, a tough heroine addict, Anja, a genius in academics, Bird, a middle class businessman who is also extremely chubby, and then there's Russell, a black American who also happens to be gay. The blind man doesn't really count as a main character since the story is about the six people living in his bunker. Just like the title itself, this book is like a diary written by Linus with the notebooks and pen he found in the, his bedroom. It's like he writes di directly to the reader. As he writes, his situation becomes increasingly hopeless and his tone changes. When they first introduced him, he was living on the street, but it soon becomes clear that he has run from a life of privilege, past grief, and an erratic father who seems completely lost the ability to communicate to uh, communicate or connect with his son. However, despite his status as a teen who ran away from home, there's no drama about him. He's steady, solid, and for the most part, he thinks things through really carefully. His interactions with the adults in the group shows a really a real maturity. The plot itself is actually pretty simple. The six of them are watched by cameras, listened by microphones, and almost entirely left to their own devices. If they need food, they put a list in the elevator and it generally appears. However, however, try to escape or resist will cost them severe punishment. And then, personally, I really like this book because it shows how, uh, how a bunch of strangers who hate each other very much surpass their feelings and work together trying to escape their prison. It also warns children about mistakes they might make in the future and try to avoid it. This book might be for children or teenagers, but they have subjects like heroin addict, attempted rape, physical and mental abuse, torture, murder and enforced imprisonment, which can really engrave these scary thoughts into their children's mind so that they will learn not to do anything that can ruin their future. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this book is written by Kevin Brooks and is um, the winner of the 2014 2014 Carnegie Medal. So yeah, I really love this book and I think you should try reading it too.